Hello there, and welcome to our first lecture type discussion in Accounting 221, um, Intermediate Accounting. So you've probably realized in your reading that this section may be like Chapter 1 in the Accounting 211 class, but it's much different than anything else you've done in Accounting 211 or Accounting 212, and probably you're guessing, and, and you would be guessing correctly if you are, that this is different than anything else you're going to be doing in Accounting 221 or 222. So here, we're going to be thinking about the environment in which accounting standards are set. So the kinds of things that we're going to be focusing on in this lecture or this discussion are, um, who has the authority to do standard setting? Who has the responsibility for it? What's the economic and the political environment? in which these standards are set. What kind of relationship exists among management, auditors, investors, and creditors? In, in general, what's the conceptual framework that underlies accounting principles? And is the accounting uh, conceptual framework sort of a, a pie-in-the-sky, ivory tower thing that bears no relationship to how standards are set? Or indeed, is it a framework upon which more detailed standards are set? Take care. Let me know if you have questions.